uh, it's above 30,000. So does that show a level of resiliency when it comes to this cryptocurrency? Well, that seems to be the word. The CEO of Binance, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, tweeted out that there's newfound resilience in the Bitcoin market. And if we drop into the Bloomberg, you might notice that past crashes, uh, notably the crypto winter back in 2018, saw Bitcoin taking months, if not years, to see a bounce back. And yet now we're already back in the green. And market observers say a big difference we're seeing in this brisk bounce back, if you want to call it that, and it's not just in Bitcoin, but in several old coins now moving higher, is that there are a lot more institutional investors, and they see this pullback as a buying opportunity. There you have it, green across the screen. That is crypto's recovery uh, beginning on Sunday. The total market value of digital currencies has dropped by about $350 billion. And we've got Bitcoin almost still 60% off of its November all-time highs, and there's a lot of challenges ahead. So crypto does seem to have digested the worst of the terror USD fallout. And let's drop into that Bloomberg chart once again, because a lot of questions remain about what happened to the Terra Luna ecosystem. Uh, as you see, it just fell from its $1 peg and then just collapsed from there. It had a huge reserve of Bitcoin that was transferred to several accounts. And researchers say it is now untraceable where that money is. Is. So that's men, one of the many questions that will linger on as Bitcoin and the rest of crypto seems to be bouncing back. So, Sue, talking about buying opportunities, when Coinbase plunged, we actually had Kathy Wood's ARK funds being big buyers there. Yeah, Kathy Wood's fund uh, come under a lot of criticism recently because it's favored those high beta tech stocks. But if we drop into the Bloomberg, even as her own fund was dropping some 10% in the middle of last week, in investors were flowing in. In fact, it was the fifth straight week of inflows, which shows there are a lot of investor diehards uh, that adhered to her strategy. Let's talk about what else she was doing. She was buying on the dip Coinbase, the largest crypto exchange. One of the big drags on her fund had dropped dramatically last week, and yet she bought about 860,000 shares, millions of dollars worth of shares in the week through Thursday. Again, critics and others who were taking a close look at her fund, say it really has a risky strategy that tends to load up on losers. Her portfolio is largely filled with speculative bets, but she has never wavered in her conviction. Uh, there you see uh, Bitcoin, which had dropped a lot, and the ARK fund itself, uh, again, has had a lot of inflow even as it is dropped. Again, the buy on the dip strategy is one a lot of investors still adhere to. Back to you.